Hello everybody, welcome back to my um, Chester Zoo build. We're on the Dunes food court as you can see. There's already been one video on this build so far and this is the second which is going to be looking more at the roof. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to uh, take you over here where I've already planned out the hexagon style roof and we'll be looking at building the tiles on the top of this and uh, hopefully completing the roof and putting it on the building. So uh, that's the video. I'll, um, I'll probably do a, a talk through on this one. So I, I'll be jibber jabbering away while the pictures fly around at, at a greatly increased speed and um, I'll join you at the end for a quick recap so uh, hope you enjoy the video well as promised uh, today is going to be mainly about the roof and the trials and tribulations of making that happen what I'm using here is the uh, the, the teeny tiny end piece off a, a gutter so when you do the gutters on your buildings and you put those little bits on that stop the water dripping out the end, that's what we're using here. They're colourable and they're fairly small. Uh, they're not exactly square, which in this case helps. And But generally, if you're trying to use something, you want it to be fairly square because you get predictable results. Uh, but in this case, it turned out quite nicely. Um, I think the roofs, when they're finished, they look a little bit... Um, a little bit uniform it might be worth just going in and, and changing the odd tile here and there just to change the color on them but in in the absence of tiltable roof tiles um we we were stuck with uh with having to make our own and uh this is uh the best way that i came up with it um i talked in the last video about the scaffolding that i've used to plan this out so the bamboo scaffolding that's in there and then I've got those uh, sort of orangey colour bits underneath these tiles so I can see where the edge of the tiles needs to go to. And it's a lot neater down the left hand side than it is on the right. But again, save it as a blueprint. Every time I've done something like that, save it as a blueprint. And what I'm doing now is I'm copying the tiles across to the back side and then we can copy them round. So you end up with the eight sides of, of your your roof there. Now I'm trying to find something that will go up the ridges, up the corner bits here to cover it because there are ridge tiles on the on the actual roof. And the roof actually was something that I don't have very much in the way of photographs. I've got a, a very, very distant view from the monorail of uh, off some of the spile some of the spires i was going to say spires they're not really spires are they and uh, i've also got a top down view from uh, google earth which is a long long way away because it's from space i mean the satellites can only do a, a, a pretty good job i mean I, i'm i'm sure that some spy satellites are probably better than the google uh, earth ones but uh, i'm stuck with google earth so there you go. We've uh, we managed to get some ridge tiles on. I'm I'm having a, a little difficulty copying them all around, so that I'm happy with them. So I'm sort of going back and redoing things. Uh, frequently save, frequently save things as blueprints as well, so that if anything disappears, I've always got it it's hidden away on the internet somewhere. And now I'm just uh, sort of copying it across and having a look on the inside. The inside's quite important because. If you actually go into dunes in real life and look up at the ceiling, you can see inside these hexagons. So I I can't remember what they look like, but I have got some very small photographs of inside. And you can see that the, the hexagon shape is there. So what I'm doing now is there is um, a ceiling associated with this so it's a white ceiling and then you can see these hexagon shapes and up into the hexagon shapes and the next problem i have is how high do i put these again my the, the pictures i've got aren't very good so from the top down view um you 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 can see that they're not flush with the top of the building you can see there's a little bit of a, of a gap down but when you see a view from ground level you can barely see these 
So they're obviously set down quite a bit. The picture I've got from the monorail, um, you can see about the top third. And now when you look at where I place these hexagons, they're, are they hexagons? Octagons, I think they're octagons. I think they've got eight sides. But when I place them, you can see that the ones on the very left of the building, as I'm placing them, they go right up to the edge of the building. In fact, they go right up to the edge of the right hand side as well. So if you watch when I put it, they're right up to the edge there, which you would imagine you'd be able to see them quite well from the ground or from the monorail, but you can't. So they're obviously set quite low. So I'm just tidying up a few things there. Now, so what I've done is I've set the hexagons quite low and I'm um, hexagons again. All right. Octagons. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> They are hexagons, aren't they? Yeah, the hexagons. Um, so what I've done is I've set them quite low so I can see through this ceiling that I'm going to put in and I can see roughly where each of these hexagons are. So we're almost at the stage now where the ceiling's done. I just need to know where these white panels go up to regarding the, the building that's adjacent. and just blocking all the gaps in. So it's been it's been quite an interesting build. This was one of the three buildings that I really wasn't uh, ready for. <laughs> I wasn't looking forward to doing this. Um, it's um, it, it, it looks complicated. It is complicated. It's a busy building on the outside. Uh, not just the paneling, but the shape of it. So I'm not looking forward to doing the oak field either. And I'm not looking forward to doing the monsoon forest. But there you go. They'll happen. They will happen eventually. So what I'm doing now is we're building um, a, a roofy bit. There's a, a kind of couple of thing on the top of some of these spires. So we're going to be doing that now. And I'm just trying to find the right materials, the right shape. Uh, you'll just see me chopping and changing a little. So there are two of these um, couple of type things on the roof. There are two different styles. These that stand proud and another one that's a kind of a cone. So you'll see me just copy the top off that and place that in. And just fill all the rest of the roofs in. There we go. Say frequently. <laughs> so as usual with a lot of my builds, I block out um, bits of garden or, or buildings that I'm going to be filling in later. So the dry stone walls that I've just placed are for a, a garden that's out the front. And there's another one comes down down here, that sort of area. And you'll see me put walls in for that. About there. So I know roughly how big the garden is and I need to then avoid it with the pathwork, which is what we're putting in now. OK, this is the last bit, really. Um, I'm just going to put the fence around where this garden's going. And there's a, a, a lot of fence and garden things to put in and just tidy it all up and concrete and things like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stop doing the voiceover on the sped up part of the video because we're almost at the end now. What I'll do is I'll hand you over to my normal future self and uh, we can just do the outro for the video. So I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, join me next time for sped up bits. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, that's the end of the video. I'm not going to do any more on video. I'll do the rest inside in uh, off video. That's the word <laughs> inside is what I was saying, because it's a lot of the inside that needs doing. And 
uh, there's a lot of counters and things like that. I might put that in a video if I find it an interesting build or not. Uh, but basically, it's the building that was the uh, the main focus of this. And I think I've I think I've done a pretty good job of it. It it looks pretty much um, as I wanted it to. Um, it's definitely June's food court. It's an unusually shaped building. It's been uh, an interesting build, especially as each of these uh, domes here has got 3,390 pieces in it. So, you know, overall, you're looking at over 20,000 pieces just for this building, which is amazing. In fact, let's, should, we, should we try and find out? I'm not sure if this will work. It might crash the game. <laughs> but we're looking at approximately... 315 pieces no it's uh, obviously it's grouped things together hasn't it and uh, i'm not going to try and uh, do anything that will crash it because it, it will probably crash it um there is a, a little bit more to do on this um i'm going to tidy all the pathways up so i've put in the initial paths for the actual people to walk round, but i'm going to then cover it with some concrete so it looks uh, a like it's all walkable and B like it's um, been laid in bits so you, you will get a bit of concrete round here and some round here and some round here and some round here and I, I will fill in some of these pathways as well so there's obviously going to be a walkway around here there's a garden here which fills approximately that space um, which I, I need to I need to put in and obviously put all the pathways around it and um, there's a, a big garden area here. There are other things in front. I think there's a hedge goes around here in a semicircle. And there's lots and lots of benches for people to sit outside. But that's it. I've, uh, I've pretty much finished as much as I wanted to do on video. Uh, you've got the general gist of it. I mean, what I'm doing now is just general busy work. It, it's just paths and, and trees and things. And, and we've all seen that sort of thing before. Um, it was this that was the interesting bit. Um, if you are interested in seeing things like pathways and trees, I can always do videos like that, but I'm, uh, I'm quite happy to, to not always do those on camera, and I'll just mess about off, uh, off the video uh, and do those in my own time. Um, as far as this goes, there is still more work to do, especially around this side and the back. There's a building on the back here, but they're fairly simple buildings. I will be able to use the opportunity to maybe put some staff buildings in here, uh, and that'll be helpful for uh, my, my staff pathing around the place. Um, but apart from that, the, the main building's pretty much done, like I said, inside to do but i probably won't do that on video um what i might do is when it's all finished i'll do a little walk around video so you know two three minutes just to show you what i've done around the back around the sides and inside as well uh, but for now that's going to be it i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you like the build if you have enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up it helps my channel tremendously and um, it also lets me know that you're enjoying the videos if there's something you don't like let me know and um, I'll see if I can fix that or change it and we'll, we'll try and do better in future. That's about it for today. My name is Backblast. Join me next time and um, stay safe, everybody. <laughs>